Hello. Good evening. Hi, Saul. Good evening, teacher. Are you able to listen? Yes, I'm listening. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. It's Aura, Ruth, Marielo, Silvia. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Silvia. How are you? Francisco, it's Aura. Good to see you. Raul, Rebecca. Uh, David is co getting connected. Hi. Hi, David. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Are you ready, guys? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. I send you the doc a document over there. It's basically the same thing that you have on your document on, on the platform, but I try to make it possible for you to work uh, on, on the computer. If you keep printed in order to work more comfortable with so go ahead be my guest okay so that's the idea because i left some spaces i i think it's only one thing that i didn't type but the rest is over there and i'm going to tomorrow morning and this is a promise because uh the listening part so i will send it to you because i i would like it that you do it at home take like a couple 10 minutes, you listen the audio, you answer the complete the chart, okay? Because otherwise we'll do it a big rush over here and that way you will be able to check out yourself how you're doing. Also, I will send you the, the audio for the conversation and for the pronunciation as well, okay? For you to uh, practice the conversation, listen to it and then stop by line by line, and then you repeat it, so that helped you a lot. Okay, thank you very much for being here. I got a question, I'm working Ah, Okay, Rebecca, but you're connected, so that's that's very good. I will take it in account when, um, when I, I take the attendance. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, okie dokie, let's see. What can we do right now? Let me share audio. Okay. So what is the topic for this last week? What is the topic? Crossing culture. Different culture around yeah. the world. Yeah, crossing cultures, cultures. We're going to talk about culture, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, is it important to that the people know something about cultures? Is it important? Yeah, uh, very important. Okay, why? Give me opinion. Give me your opinion. Because the different culture, you need the, the world, you need people. Ah, okay, good. Like yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, can United people, can, in fact, uh, can I teach English without teaching the culture of Americans, of native speakers? Can I do that? Or I had to teach culture as well? Give me your opinion. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what was the question? Oh, uh, can I teach English without teaching about the, uh, without teaching culture? The culture of American, Canadian, Bridges, uh, I don't know, Australian, or Culture is included over there. You can learn and you can teach at the same time? Yes, yes. I cannot teach English without teaching culture. So when we learn a language, remember, we learn the culture as well, okay? So we, we learn a culture. So it's like if I move to the United States, so I will, I will, take the culture with me of course we'll see that we have 
to do as an old saying says, we had to do as Romans do. <laughs> we'll see what is learned. Okay. So the uh, we're going to begin over here, guys. Okay. And uh, what is the learning goal of uh, culture shock? What is the learning goal? Learn adjectives to describe a person's positive and negative feelings about living abroad. Yes. Saul, how will you feel living in another country? Um, as a living in, in another country, um, I, how will you feel? Happy, I feel, sad? I, think I, like, I may feel like strange. A strange, um, a strange, like, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you think, David Alonso? What do you think about it? Well, um, I have never lived abroad, but I've gone to another country, and I feel so weird right there. <laughs> I've been for a few for a few days, but I have to eat what they eat, and do what they do, and it's, it's a little bit weird. Ah, do as Romans do. <laughs> okay, Natalie, what about you? Uh -huh. Ella? What do you mean? I'm sorry. I um I'm uh, out of my housing. That, ah, no. okay, okay. But I'm glad that you're Try here. To, to hear the class, okay? Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay, good. So, uh, let's see if someone offered me the chance to live abroad. If you have the document over there in Word, how do you feel? How will you feel? Happy, sad, strange, uh, exciting. Mm, uh, maybe there's not a kind of weird. Uh, weird means extraño, raro. Eh? Okay. How will you feel? Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> you will feel exciting. Okay. Okay. Might be. Uh huh. Someone else? Glendy? I will feel sad and strange because I will miss my family. <laughs> ah. Okay, you will miss your family and then you'll get homesick. You live in another country, but you're missing family over here. It happens. Believe me, it happens. Okay, now look at the picture of. Well, look at the picture <laughs> and answer the question. Ah, kind of strange. Okay, this is the picture. And the questions are, how does the woman feel? She is feels she... anxious. Ah, she feels anxious. And like, yeah, after eating their nails, right? So, yeah. And is anxious a positive or negative feeling? It's a negative feeling. Negative feeling. Negative feeling. So if you want to complete the answer over there in order to give, uh, one thing that is important, guys, when we are learning English, we always say complete sentences, okay? So because that way the our memory, our mind will play with full sentence. How, so she feels, so in the answer, how does a woman feel? You should say, she feels anxious, okay? She feels anxious, okay? Is anxious positive or negative feelings? Is it positive or negative? Anxious negative. It's negative, right. 
complete sentences. Good, a complete sentence. That's very good. Ancients is a negative feeling. Okay. Ancients is a negative feeling. Okay, good. So we have learned over there that anxious is negative. Okay. Okay, so and you have some um things over there. Uh, I'll give you like one, two minutes and right if it is positive p if it is negative n so for example anxious that will be what letter p or n n n because it's negative The words, I'm just going to read, don't say if it is positive or negative, but I'm just going to read it for you to listen. So we say comfortable, confidence, curious, depressed, embarrassed, enthusiastic, excited, fascinated, homesick, insecure, nervous, uncertain, uncomfortable, and worried. Those are the words. Uh, those are adjectives to describe feelings. Remember that we have adjectives to describe personality, to describe appearance, to describe feelings on a person. So adjectives for personality, tall, short, et cetera. A, a, a physical appearance, tall, short, et cetera. A, a, this is, is. Okay, comfortable. Is a positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Confident. Positive. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Curious. Positive. Positive. It has to be positive. Depressed. Negative. 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 Embarrassed. Negative. Negative. It's negative, right? You know, embarrassed is when your chips become uh, kind of pink, right, or red, are you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a friend in, back in San Francisco and, he's, and someone, an American said, are you embarrassed? He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's another thing. Okay. Enthusiastic. Positive. It's a positive. Excited. Positive too. Positive. Fascinated. <laughs> positive. Positive as well. Hansik. Negative. 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 That's homesick. When you miss family, friends, food, parties, and so on. Insecure. Negative. It's a negative. Nervous. Negative. Negative. Uh, uncertain. Negative. Negative. Co uncomfortable. Negative. Negative and worried. Negative. Negative. Okay. Uh, and when it says, for example, look at the positive, comfortable, okay? And the opposite is uncomfortable. So we use on that uh, thing to make it negative. So like happy, unhappy, okay? Okay, guys, on over there, this is, uh, keep on this on mind because we are going to need to use these words in context, okay? So there is a vocabulary. I try to put an include vocabulary over there for you to increase your, uh, your, your English product, productivity, okay? So anxious, what is anxious? Feeling nervous. Feeling nervous, okay? Like eating your nail. Confidence. 
confidence. Shall I this is by assurance? Assurance. <laughs> assurance. Uh -huh. By insurance. And depress. Low in spirit, sad. Low in spirit and sad. A enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, energetically interested in something. in something. You know, you know when I teach, I'm kind, I'm kind of quiet person, but I, when I take English, I always become enthusiastic because, like always says, in boring boring classes, no one learns. Okay, so so I uh, we had to take the the best of us. Fascinated. Being incomplete. Being complete. Aha, uh -huh, miss. Yes. Yes, miss. Miss. Being complete, interested, showing complete attention to something. To something, thank you. And Rebecca Hansik. Rebecca. Nubia Honsik. Nubia. Ah, ah, Rebecca Yonel is the one working. Renato. Okay, someone read Honsik. Looking for home and family. For... Mm -hmm. and absent from, from them. Then. Okay, when you move abroad, you feel homesick, okay, and living in another country. Insecure. Not confident or Not sure. Not confident or sure. Thank you, uh, Glendy and, and Sylvia. Thank you. Uncertain. Lacking career uh, knowledge. Or definite opinion. Okay, Nackley, lacking. Lack is lacking. Uh, to carecer de something, okay? So, and lack of money means I, okay. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> no one has nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's carecer de something. And lack of, uh, I can say, and lack of uh, happiness. Happy, happiness, yes. Means I'm not that about, happy. Excuse mm -hmm. me. What about luck? Luck? Uh, luck, it, it comes from there. It comes from there. This word comes from there. Luck is to get like uh, una, una suerte. Okay. Oh, I was lucky. And then oh, okay. uh -huh, we say, I was lucky. Uh, estuve mucha suerte. Um, that comes from lack. Uh, the word is lack, but then you that you make it in different meaning. Lacking is to not to have, okay. And lucky is to have a labro. You see what is the difference? Lucky, yeah. lacking, not to have. Not to have. Like it says over there, lacking clear knowledge. Okay, so it means you don't have a knowledge or opinion, mm -hmm. and lucky to have. Okay, yeah. Okay. And do you live in a uh, do you live or would you like to live in a foreign country? How do you feel? How would you feel? The ones who haven't participated, don't leave me alone, please. Oh, uh, don't leave us alone <laughs> because we need to to share to the Okay, <laughs> Isabel, Isabel, Elizabeth, you haven't talked. Hello. Hello, teacher. How, how would you feel if you live in a foreign country? Mm -hmm. Just um, pretend. So huh? Uh, worry. Uh, worry? Uh, nervous. Nervous, okay. Uh, 
exciting at the same time. Yes, you will feel uh, yes. nervous, exciting at the same time because it's not. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Ali. And uh, why? Why do you do you think if we move to another country, we will feel worry about it? Let's say that we move to the United States uh, or to, to Canada. Let's say Canada. I prefer the United States. Okay. Okay. You prefer the United States. Um, <laughs> probably I will be fascinated. Uh-huh. Um, because I would like to have the opportunity to meet, uh, I don't know, the Empire State. Ah, okay. Always always them. Mm -hmm. Spend with my family on Christmas. Ah, yes. Yeah, you know, it's um, on my own experience, uh, it's a mix of feelings, okay? You feel excited, you feel, uh, you feel enthusiastic about it, fascinated, especially when you see those buildings that are, you go like this. You go like this. And when people talk, you just laugh. You just smile, not laugh, the smile. Why? Different language, different customs, different uh, food, a lot of things that you will guy. And that's, that's uh, there is a mix of feeling over there. We'll see what's happened on this one. Yes, okay. But I, please, please, if you don't talk to us, Try to respond the answers. Try to talk to yourself. Okay, well, if I move to another country, I'll feel anxious, nervous, but at the same time, I will be happy, excited about it, or maybe insecure, and so on. Try to answer the questions if you don't talk to us, okay? Please. Um, let me see. I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, Okay, so um, let's see, we have something over there. What is the learning objective of this uh, activity number two perspective? See known process containing relative clauses in context. In context, okay. Uh, as a students, what would you be worried about it if you live in another country? What would you be worried about it? We already mentioned. Not happy, not enthusiastic, worry about it. I would be worried about uh, look for a job. Ah, looking for a job. Thank you. That'd be great participation. Uh huh. Okay, looking for a job. And why would you feel worry about it? If you're uh, you're able to work, you're a good worker. But uh, uh huh. If we worry about how uh, survive how to how to surviving there in the okay surviving over the, there okay the situation the situation and why yeah. what is the main problem that you will find doubt over there the uncertain the language. Huh? A language. The language of the country. The language. That's the first thing that you can believe me. There are good people, but there are there will be people. I mean, uh, people. A lot of people will be patient, but there will be some people that are not patient about you trying to communicate to express something. Uh huh. Ella, you would like to say something? Yes. Uh, in my case, I think that uh, I would be. Uh, sad because when someone uh, travel to other, other, another country or move to another country, uh, usually it's uh, alone, mm -hmm. and I I think that I uh, probably I would be miss my my family. Yes. And in my case, I think that. It would be the the most uh, terrible. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, those those things believe me. I found then also I was a country boy. I mean, I grew up in the countryside out of the city. And then I came to San Salvador and then I moved to uh for some reasons I went to I moved to San Francisco, California. And uh, after my mom used to make me the cooking, cleaning my clothes and everything, I had to do it because no one do it over there. And um, so there is a mix of feeling, but let's see the topic. And we say that, how are we going to read on this one? So there are some things, uh, first of all, I think uh, to answer this question, it will be the language, costumes, okay? But congratulations, guys. You got a big advance speaking English. Don't give up, continue on. Okay, so let's see. And uh, the listening to people about moving to a foreign country. What is a foreign country? What is a foreign country? And you don't work. Yes, and English. <laughs> In English, <laughs> another country. <laughs> yeah, and a country that is not yours. Okay. That yeah. Is different, over different there. That, when when that you live the, in different country, that's no the, the native country. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's let's see what people uh, think and how they express certain things and how they begin to express in certain things in English. Okay. Let me. Unit 5, Crossing Cultures, page 30, exercise 2, Perspectives. If I move to a foreign country... Oops. That's happened when you play with computer. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Unit 5, Crossing Cultures. Page 30, exercise two, perspectives. If I move to a foreign country, part A. Listen to the people talk about moving to a foreign country. Would you have any of the same concerns? One thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. I'd be uncertain about the local food. I might not like it. Getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. My room at home is the thing that I'd miss the most. I'd be homesick. Communicating in a new language is something I'd be anxious about. Moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. I'd be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends, especially in a foreign language. Okay, notice how people start uh, started, uh, saying the things, how they feel about living in another country. Remember that we usually, a normal speech and a basic English is subject, verb, uh, the rest. Subject, auxiliary, the rest. But when you, at your level, we should start saying a uh, certain thing. One thing that I really like about Mr. Lopez class, and he is very enthusiastic. <laughs> and just give an example, okay? Um, uh, this, uh, this I will means I will be uncertain. That's the phrase. I will be uncertain about local food, okay? Because it's different. It's not in the pupusas, it's not my mom's cook, it's not my my cook, my own cook. It's, it's, uh, getting used, look at this one, getting used to different customs might be difficult at first, okay? Like I said at the beginning, I cannot teach English without teaching the customs of uh, uh, speaking it. Um, uh, speaking English country. So this is the way how do you express those. Let's see what's coming. Okay, 
this is uh, just like, uh, uh, how do you say, confidence. Uh-huh, what is confidence? When you are sure about you. When you are sure about you, comfortable. What is comfortable? When you feel? When I'm feeling good. Feel okay. oh, I'm feeling good. Okay. Not worry about it. Okay. Uncertain. When you have doubts. I, I, you had doubts. Exactly. You have, have you have doubts. doubts and things that you don't, you do not feel sure about it. Insecure. Insecure. Feeling afraid, feeling afraid for something. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Getting afraid for something. I mean, you're not sure about it. Anxious. When you feel Being nervous a lot. Nervous, nervous, okay. And confidence, I wouldn't be worried about this at all. Because you, you're secure of your own person. You have a lot of confidence on you. And comfortable, I think this will be okay. No problems. And so on. Let's see. Okay. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. Okay. Uh, practice noun clauses containing relatives. Let's see. As a subject. Page 31. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. As a subject. One thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. One thing that I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends. Something that I'd be nervous about is making new friends. Two people I'd email every day are my parents. As an object. My mom's cooking is one thing I'd really miss. My mom's cooking is one thing that I'd really miss. Making new friends is something I'd be nervous about. Making new friends is something that I'd be nervous about. My parents are two people I'd email every day. Okay. Notice as a subject, notice that on, on the first column of your left, Okay, one thing, the expression, one thing, something, two people, they are the subject of the sentence. They become the subject of the sentence. And this, this, that, which is in brackets or parentheses, is optional. When you speak, it's up to you. <clears throat> so it's up to you. You can say one thing. I really miss is my mom's cooking. Or uh, one thing that I really miss is my mom cooking. Something I I be nervous about is making new friends. Two people I email every day are my parents. So this one and that and who or that is up to you when, at the moment on speaking. You can say then or you can omit them but look on the other one this is this is uh, very important as a object look what are the object uh, are we using the same the same expressions on as an object or as a subject are we using the same ones or different No, that is a uh, crumble. Uh, uh, but we are using the same one. Look, one thing at the beginning of the sentence and one thing in the middle of the sentence that connect two ideas. So this one over here, um, let me just, I, I, I think I got a chart over there. This one over here, it became an object, but this one, 
is a subject. We are using it as a subject. Okay. So my man's cooking is one thing I really miss. So the object is this one. Okay, including I really miss. And uh, making new friends is something that I be nervous about. So something as an object and something as an as a subject. And to people as a subject and to people as an object with the rest of the things. Uh, let's uh, watch, listen one more time, and I think I, I make a, a chart over there. The explanation. Page 31. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. As a subject. One thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. One thing that I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends. Something that I'd be nervous about is making new friends. Two people I'd email every day are my parents. As an object. My mom's cooking is one thing I'd really miss. My mom's cooking is one thing that I'd really miss. Making new friends is something I'd be nervous about. Making new friends is something that I'd be nervous about. My parents are two people I'd email every day. Okay, this one that I, I circle or underline, those are the noun phrases. Which ones are the relative clauses? Which ones are the relative clauses? I'll give you 10. <laughs> no, I cannot do that one. It's just a joke. Which ones are the relative clauses? Relative clauses are that and who. Exactly that and who. Those are the relative clauses, okay? These ones, in fact, I don't know if we study that, that, who, and that. We use relative clauses, remember, to join two different sentences with different ideas to make one general idea. So my mom's cooking, I really miss different meaning but if we say my mom's cooking is one thing that i really miss so i am making one idea thank you very much who was that it was david or david i i don't remember but that's those are the relative oh david thank you okay and, um, okay, let me just, let me, I think when I do that, this disappears. Okay. What is the thing over there? Uh, I cannot read it because, ah, complete the sentences about living in a foreign country. Use the phrases below, then compare with a partner, okay? Uh, okay, there we have some phrases. I'm going to send you to a breakup room, okay, for a couple of minutes, but please, participate with your classmate, participate, okay? We have some phrases over there. Let me just, uh, the phrases that we have, what are they? My? My friend, my family, getting sick. Getting sick, trying new, trying foods, new foods, 
My favorite food. My favorite food. My room at home. My room at home. Making a new friends. Making new friends. Being always from home. Uh huh. And Being getting away. lost. City. In a new city, not, not understanding, understanding people. people, and getting used to different. Getting used to different, exactly. Sure. So that's that's the thing over there. So I will send you. Let me see if I put an example. Yes. So for example, uh, I'll give you one example. It says one thing I definitely be fascinated by is is trying trying food trying new food yes <laughs> <laughs> but um but you know some people are so accustomed to the same food that they 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 ask for pupusas uh, or uh, ice cream chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> I remember that uh, we uh, took someone to for an ice cream, a couple. They were from Mexico. And there were like 250 different flavors of ice cream. And he asked for chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> but that happened. That happened. Okay. So let me send you to... Um, um, uh, uh, let me go back in order not for you to see the answers. <laughs> Okay, and let me send you back. No, let me send you to um to how many people are we? Eighteen. I'll send you in group of three, but please work uh, eighteen. Well, how many rooms? Breakup rooms. Eight, eighteen, and three by three six. Okay, but please work, okay? Let me just, I'll give you like uh, six minutes, no more. Uh, six. Yeah, six minutes. Okay, you're getting an invitation right now. Please work, work, work on it. You're getting an invitation. Start joining. Remember to discuss the questions. Join the groups, guys. Don't stay here. Nubia, Renato, join the groups, Luis, Rebecca. Eh, ah, Yonel is working. 
Rebeca Granados, Join the Groups, Ruth Marielos, Please Join, Luis Fernando, Eda El Salón, Ay, Eda, Ay, Mr. López, no, <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's why I came over here, uh, Eda. So in order that we can work, uh, you work something. Okay, yeah. you're not alone. I'm here. Okay. 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 Let's let's try to do something. Um, I tried to 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 do it, but uh, um, I'm confused. Ah, okay. But, uh, um. Hmm. The first one, uh, one one thing I the 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 fitnelly, the uh -huh. fitnelly be fascinated by by is, yeah, uh, I don't know. In my case, probably okay. He, so making a new new friends. Okay, so, the first one that uh huh, the first one that is. Ah, but in Spanish. O, o es que tiene que haber eh, una respuesta en específico o no no es... you can you can you can use different different answers over ah, there okay. it's not it's not I don't think that it do you know if it, do you okay. know if uh, Ed I'm sorry do you know if we are recording okay yeah we do right yeah Ah, yeah. es, es because tengo que grabar la, la clase. <laughs> Pero yo no lo veo si se está grabando o qué. Ah. Oh. Pero I think that yes, because when 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 I joined join it eh uh, uh, it was yeah. The record but, the record uh, is, the, the Aha, uh -huh, but uh, right now I don't see it. Okay, yeah. I I hope that is recording because I don't see it. Even though the mm -hmm. let me just dejar de compartir. Oh, yes, yes, it's recording. Yeah, 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 yeah it's recording. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I don't think that there will be a close um, answer over there. In fact, the one that I put it, it, it was kind of it, it's kind of an auction over there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I don't, I don't think that, uh, for example, the example that I put it is one thing that I definitely fascinated by is trying new foods. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But oh. what is there another possible answer over there? Mm -hmm. oh, mm. In my case, I I think that the making new friends. Ah, one thing that I definitely be fascinated by is making new friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. if it very well, mm -hmm. if it very well, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I I don't think that there's a is possible answers. I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the second yeah. one, I I think that the, my favorite food is something I really miss, uh -huh. or maybe my family. Oh. Okay, my roommate at home is something I really miss. Yeah, my family is there a family over there. Uh huh. <laughs> my family, my family is something that I really miss. Yes, there are different things over there. Okay, the yeah. time is up. I think that we needed the time was very short. It was only six minutes. Okay, yes. let's go back to the main room over there. Okay. Mm hmm.
Okay, bye. Bye. Everybody's coming. Uh, Eleven. Um, were you able to finish, guys? The time was very short. Do you work on it? Do you help each other? Do you discuss the possible answers? Hello. No, in my case, because only I, only me in the room. <laughs> yes. Nobody here. Yes, I went to one and there was only Eda over there also. Um, but I, you tried to do something, Francisco, by yeah. yourself. Good, good. Okay. And that's really important. We were discussing over there that there's not a, a very specific answer. For example, uh, the answer that I have over there is my room My room at home is something that I really miss. It will be another possible answer over there. Yes, my family, my friends. My family, my family is something that I really miss. Uh-huh. Uh, my friends. My yes. friends. Mm -hmm. yes. And what about number three? Two things I'll be homesick for are number three. You say two, my friend, my family. Okay. Or my family, my father too. too. Uh huh. My friends and my family. Yes, my friends and my family. It are two things. Uh, Yes, Eda. Uh, Mr. Lopez, I don't have an idea about the what is the meaning of homesick. Ah, uh, um, homesick. When you live in yes. a in a foreign country and you miss family, friends, food, celebrations. You say uh, so. Uh huh. That's homesick. Uh, extrañar every. Todo ah, en, en lo su, de la casa. Yes, lo, lo, de, lo, lo del hogar. Country. Not okay. exactly. Family, <laughs> friends, food, celebrations, especially oh. if you are parandera. Pupusas. <laughs> Pupusas. Ah, okay. eh, atol con chuco, uh, <laughs> las bolas de fuego, las ah. luminarias en metapan. So, those, yeah. that's, that's good. Honsik. The, the culture. Uh -huh. mm, People and culture about the, the, the country, native country? Yes, you miss okay. everything in a country. But, okay, um, thank you. Yeah. And you thank get homesick, even though you like the, the place where you live, but uh, you miss all of those things, okay? And especially the one, two days that you really miss is Christmas and New Year's Eve. Because in the United States, Canada, there are no fireworks, firecrackers, uh, dances, and everything. People open the, the presents, uh, have, they get together for dinner, and that's it. No dancing, no nothing at all. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. The, the principal, I'm sorry, the main, the main celebration to, to them are the Turkey Day, yeah? I don't know. Yeah. The, the, Get the given, given day. Thanksgiving. That's called Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanksgiving. And you know which one is the Thanksgiving for us? Do you have do 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 we have a Thanksgiving? It's, it's more or less. Ah, Thanksgiving for us is is Dia de la Cruz, pero no es uh, in Spanish. No es por la cosecha. En the United States, Canada, es por la cosecha que se dio. Nosotros, el Día de la Cruz, lo usamos para pedir por las cosechas del, del año. O sea, antes. 
En el principio. En el principio, por eso es que la cruz se adorna, eh, se adorna con frutas, eh, semillas y cosas así, que, que la lluvia sea abundante y que se nos dé, no como ahora. Ok, so um, these are the possible answer, guys. I'm going to use it over there, even though we are doing okay because we are on the nice uh, light. And, uh, oh, um, so and I will let you, I'll leave it over here. I will take attendance. And before we go, and uh, uh, please try to do it yourself, okay? There will might be a more than one answer, okay? Maybe one or two, okay? So let me see if I find. Do we? Uh, I don't remember it in the United States when they celebrate St. Patrick's. I don't know. I don't I, I'm not, everything, I'm not is sure. everything is green? Yeah, everything is green. Uh, the drinks, uh, they drink uh, the drinks, the, the food, the clothes, the, the clothes. everything, everything is green. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, everything it's about is, the culture. <laughs> it's about the culture, right. And it's really, uh, it became like, a, if I'm not mistaken, like a, a religious thing. But then the, the things turn out like a big celebration. Like Valentine's Day, it became so something like, like not as, as the market, right? Okay, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Okay. Uh, Claudia Maria Gras. Garcia. Present teacher. Eh, Daniela Mercedes Méndez. Daniela. David Alonso Mejía. Present. Present. Eda Lisbeth Pineda. Present teacher. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Glendy Elisette Flores Ramírez. Present. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Que, uh, Marco Antonio Quijano Equiceval. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Present teacher. Eh, Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Nubia. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Raúl Antonio. Rebeca Ionelli is there. Present teacher. Ah, uh, Raúl Antonio. Yes. Okay, thank you. Rebeca Paola Granados. Present. And Renato Salvador Ramírez. Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Present. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. And Silvia Tatiana Costa. Silvia. Tatiana Costa Hernández. Okay. Uh, I saw a message that they were asking uh, for you to fill it in platform. Please uh, work on it. And uh, don't miss the, we're just uh, have three classes more. So, um, and we finished this, uh, this course. Uh, I hope that, you, that we can help you all something on this one. And please do not miss classes and work on the platform. Just give me one minute in order to be sure that uh, we got uh, a little bit more than an hour. I'm here 
Ah, Tatiana, you were there. Rebecca Yonelli, yes. Uh, okay, I'll open the, because I already closed it, Tatiana Costa is there. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'll see, uh, give me one minute. Uh, any questions about the class? Any questions about? And tomorrow morning, I will send you the audios, okay, for you to start practicing the, the ones that conversation, pronunciation, and the listening activities, okay? So, okay, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye-bye. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Try to rest. <laughs>